So, Bakara, let's start by talking about why. Why are you doing this? <laughs> why not, Ross? <laughs> why not? Um, yeah, look, the opportunity came up to go on, to go and play some Grand Prix, and I guess the the beach season for me is, um, you know, the next few months there was sort of nothing on the cards that was sort of set in stone. Um, obviously, the the some of the girls that I have been playing with are already away and and playing back with their respective partners and doing really well. So, um, I guess I was kind of left here in Adelaide to train a little bit and and thought, you know what, it's it's world class competition. And it's you know, it's some of the best women's indoor teams in the world and, you know, if I've got the opportunity to go out there and have a have a crack and get that experience, then why on earth not? Did you approach them or did they approach you? Um, I actually got a I just got a Facebook message from, from one of the assistant coaches on a Saturday night. I was just been out to dinner and got home and had a message there saying that my name had popped up in some conversations that they were having, so um just asked if I was open to talking some more about it. So that's kinda of how we're all that's kind of how it all began, but initially my first response was, yeah, sure, let's talk about it, let's make it happen. Yep. Um, when was the last time you played indoor volleyball? <laughs> well, I played a little bit um, just for my local team here in Adelaide, Henley. I played with them um, actually after I'd had my shoulder surgery after London, so I went back and lip rode for a little bit with, that, with those guys. Um, it was really only probably about a month or so, but before that it was back in 2006, um, yeah, it was 2006 I um, played with the women's national team, so it's been a little while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you think you... It's been long enough that I had to go and buy new shoes and new knee pads. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Um, how hard do you think it'll be to make that transition back again? I mean, is there a, is there a world... I mean, I know people who've, who've done it before say that it's a lot different jumping from sand than jumping on a hard floor and all that sort of stuff. How hard do you think it'll be? Um, yeah, I, I'm under no false illusions that it's going to be, you know, a, a cakewalk. It's definitely going to be a challenge. And I think from a physical point of view, purely just the, the impact and um, and then from a team perspective, you know, there's six of us on court as opposed to two and, you know, the addition of a coach on the sideline plus the speed plus different tactics plus everything. Like, you know, it's, it really is a completely different game. Um, so while we might pass the same, the ball's a bit different, the ball moves a bit different. Um, I really, I feel like I kind of throw myself in the deep end and like I'm a bit of a newbie all over again, which is, which is kind of nice. Like it's quite refreshing and, um, it's quite humbling. (laughs) It's probably the best word for it. Um, but it, you know, it's good. Like the initial timing stuff, I think I've kind of gotten on top of, I've, I've had probably three or four sessions out on the, out on the floorboards already. So the initial timing stuff, I think I've got a got a handle on. Um, now it's more so just you know reading the play and and understanding what's going to happen next and being able to you know predict things a little bit better, which I think will come from more time. Uh, you must be looking forward though to no longer having to wash sand out of all those places that sand gets to when you're playing beach and replacing it with. <laughs> <laughs> sure, Grazes. it's one of the perks. It's it's, uh, it's definitely a lot different getting home from training. I don't need to you know make sure that my tights are coming off slowly so that, you know, I'm not spreading sand all over the house. So that is that is a benefit, I guess. What sort of response have you had from uh, your new teammates? Um, well, it was really great. I got a message last night from, from Shay Sloan, who's the captain, and just saying, you know, kind of welcome to the team and looking forward to having, um, having me away with them, which I thought was really lovely. Um, there's a lot of girls that I don't, no one have not played with. Back when I was playing in 2006, Lauren Bertolacci was still setting or was setting back then. So, um, you know, I'd, I've obviously played with her, but other than that, there's there's a lot of very new faces and a lot of girls I've not met and definitely not played with. So that's really exciting. I'm looking forward to, I guess, meeting everyone. Yeah. <laughs> even, you know, even Mark Barnard, I've not, not worked with him before either. So I'm looking forward to, um, you know, meeting a lot of new people and, and learning a lot from them, I have no doubt. And what about your future in beach? I mean, is this just a temporary thing? Do you still have full intentions of going back to, to beach after this is I over? Beach is where my heart will always lie. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm so open to, to options and, and who knows what, what will open up after this. Um, you know, I'm, not, I'm definitely not hanging up the bikinis. I've had to tell a few people that who were a bit disappointed to hear that I'm heading out onto the indoor court. Um, 
but for me, it's all about just taking an opportunity and, and taking a, um, you know, the ability to go and play high level volleyball. Um, and I'm sure that there'll be lots of things that I'll, that I'll learn and I'll be able to, um, impart on some of the other players that'll be helpful. So, you know, I'm definitely not, I'm not crossing anything off the list just yet. I'm keeping all my options open. Mm. Uh, is the Olympics still a possibility? I mean, you know better than most what it takes to get there. Sure. Can you st- can you still get? It? I mean, I know we've got we've got um, this age old problem. Every time I talk to you, but it's who's going to be your new partner? Yeah, well, I guess it's a you know again, I'm I'm never going to say never. I, I guess in terms of where I actually sit right now, there's two two really strong teams that are you know Luanti are kicking ass over in Croatia right now, which is awesome, and um, Nikki and Mfe are, are away as well, and obviously looking to get that that second position for the you know in the Australian team. So you know. Um, I'm here, and I, you know, that's what I want to do. But I'm under, you know, no illusions that it's signed, sealed, and delivered. Because as it stands, I, I don't have a beach partner, which I heard is vital. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good though. I mean, you, you, you've obviously now got something you can throw yourself into and 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 enjoy. Um, and you look like you're really looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Well, best of luck with it. Um, the good, exciting thing is that you go to Kazakhstan and even more exciting than that is Algeria, which I don't know how many Australian sports people of any code, of any type of sport, have ever been to Algeria. So you really are going to be seeing parts of the world that you probably never would have seen playing beach. I don't know that Algeria's got a big beach volleyball culture. No, I'm, I'm not sure that it does either. But it'll be interesting. Like, yeah, I've never been to either of those countries, so it'll... Um... It'll be very interesting. It's safe. I think it's pretty safe to say that everyone's most excited about coming home and playing in Canberra. So, um, yeah, can't wait for that. It'll be awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck, Ben, and um, hope that uh, you do well. Thanks, Ross.